Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Tuesday, March 26, 2024. I pray that God will continue to be with you all. And I pray that he will pour out his blessings on you today. And may he continue to guide you in the path of righteousness. Our reading today comes to us from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And we will read verses 2 to 4. It says, Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. For last, who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. And I say, Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His word of wisdom and guidance as we seek to follow in His footsteps and as we seek to show the world that God truly cares. Now, here this morning, Paul is speaking to us about comforting one another. And so he started out by acknowledging the source of our comfort, who is God, during our difficult time or during difficult times. Right? And he emphasizes that God comforts us in all our trouble. And that is so true. Because many times we are going through our challenge and our trial. Who is it that comforts us? Who is it that reminds us that we can make it and that there is hope? It is God. He finds a way to reach out to us to let us know that He has not forsaken us. Amen? And so, not just some comfort, but all. Do you understand? So, he not just comfort us only in some things, but in everything because he understands perfectly what we are going through. And so who is better able to comfort us? Now with this understanding and with the experience of being comforted by God, we can also extend this privilege to those around us, especially those in the household of faith and believe the community of believers who are going through very difficult time we need to comfort each other we need to be there for each other so we have received comfort of god and therefore we need to support those who are going through or experiencing hardship so that we can foster unity and compassion amongst the community of believers so we know what it means or what it feels like to to go through difficulties and trials so if you have passed through an experience and you have overcome that experience you have overcome that trial you are in a good position to comfort somebody who is going through a similar experience or something different so you know you have had the experience and so that is why the bible speak words like iron sharpened iron right these have several meanings that is dear to remind us that when we are dear to help each other to grow spiritually to comfort each other and to strengthen each other we will be in a much better position to stand and to stand firm on our feet and so as we seek to emulate and to practice this principle of comforting one another i pray that the holy spirit will give us guidance i pray that the holy spirit will give us wisdom help us to be kind because the truth is that there are person within the church that are having difficult time they are suffering internally some externally some internally and externally 
they are going through a lot and some of these folks feel so alone because they have nobody to talk to nobody seems to care about what they're experiencing and that is why it is important for us to be aware of what our brothers and sisters are going through we need to show that we care and when we show that we care and when we are there to comfort those who are close to us it will be easy much more easy for us to comfort those outside of that community so we won't be able to give comfort in a meaningful way to others if we ourselves cannot comfort our loved ones comfort those who are close to us comfort our, our friends or our brothers and our sisters because we practice what we preach or we should practice what we preach and so what god has given unto us and what he has done for us we also need to do it for others so i pray this morning that as we seek to adapt this principle in our daily lives may the holy spirit guide us through the path in which we can develop that attitude of compassion towards everyone may god continue to bless you and keep you as we show the world that we care and that ultimately god cares god bless you amen